Rich Surratt here with a short demo about the latent effect of ESD on thin film versus bulk metal foil resistors. Everyone is familiar with the harmless static shock you can receive by walking across a rug and touching a doorknob. The human body is a fairly good 150 picofarad capacitor that can store up to 4,000 volts. This static shock or ESD pulse can have devastating effects on some electronic components. Engineers are aware that a precision thin film resistor, for instance, has an ESD limit of about 2500 volts. But most engineers have no idea of the failure mode of thin film resistors that have that limit exceeded. Likewise, few engineers are aware that bulk metal foil resistors are impervious to ESD pulses up to 25,000 volts. All engineers use clamping circuits and various grounding devices to protect against ESD damage. All manufacturers ground their assemblers and technicians to guard against ESD damage to their circuits and assemblies. As long as these safeguards are in place, everything is fine. But undetectable accidents occur. An operator comes back from lunch and forgets to reconnect their wrist strap before continuing work for the afternoon. A workstation is moved over the weekend to clean the floor and is not reconnected to ground before work begins Monday morning. Undetectable ESD damage can occur to thin film resistors during these and similar situations. Undetectable damage that can elude final inspection and testing. Undetectable damage that can turn a thin film resistor into a catastrophic failure that's just waiting to happen. Allow me to demonstrate. Here I have two 10K1206 resistors mounted and wired on a PC board. A precision thin film and a bulk metal foil. To start the demo, let's measure and record the value of each unit with a precision ohmmeter. Then connect both resistors to my pulse analyzer, shuffle across a thick shag wool rug, and touch the common wiring bus with my finger. Zap! I just applied an ESD pulse of a little over 3000 volts for about one microsecond to both units. Let's see what the effect was. First, let's remeasure the thin film unit. As you can see, it changed over 1000 ppm. But that may not be a detectable delta R, as unit is still good for 0.1%. Externally, the resistor looks undamaged. But let's take a closer look at this and see what actually happened. I had the coating removed from two 10K1206 thin film resistors. This image shows part of the resistive film at 1000 times magnification. The unit on the left is the same one I gave the ESD pulse to. The image on the right received no pulse. Look at the difference. Look at the cracks that developed on the unit that received the pulse. Now my main concern is about the long-term stability and reliability of this resistor. The current path on this unit is compromised and will fail prematurely. Except for a possibly undetectable delta R, there is no outward way to know this unit was damaged. It would probably pass through final inspection and circuit checks. It would have been much better if the damaged unit had just fused open with the ESD pulse. Instead, it hung on enough to have a lingering death that will occur sometime after it's in the field and in use. Now, let's measure the bulk metal foil resistor. It's reading exactly the same as before. No delta R. No effect whatsoever. Remember, because of their robust nature, bulk metal foil resistors can handle ESD pulses up to 25,000 volts with no damage. ESD damage to precision thin film resistors can be very subtle and undetectable. Even with the best ESD protection and safeguards, accidents will happen. If unquestioned long-term precision, stability and reliability are requirements of your design, then bulk metal foil resistors are your only logical resistor choice. For more information about our complete line of bulk metal foil resistors, please contact us directly or visit our website.